Hi, I'm no one in particular, just a meerkat with a new mic, and I sound great, right? Right? No more potato recordings and more professional meerkats here. I can even go around the mic and do some ASMR. I can just put my mouth right on top of it. So let's be professional and review. Sorry, Arno, this is not spoil. Imagine. Sorry, Arno, freaking goddamn beautiful, isn't she? And not spoy, cute, isn't she? Here she is, picking rice. Why? Because stardom made her, that's why. Well, why? Because the same reason K-pop companies send idols like Sakura on side quests making kimchi or selling food or doing professional wrestling. It's cute, making cute creatures do ordinary jobs of ordinary people and make it seem like it's cute and fun and not exploitive or soul crushing or body destroying or capitalism fueling the further decay of the human spirit into mere cogs of a production that will eventually be overtaken by AI, causing what Yuval Noah Harari, author of these three absolute essential reading or auditory reading, argues as the rise of the useless class. And those useless class members are gonna have to watch something to keep their minds from the dark recesses of their own minds. Hence, cute creatures doing cute things. Distraction by cuteness. Oh my god, look how cute they are! Ah! And since there is no thought poise in Nuts Poise Brain Poi, stardom just likes to laugh poi at her. That's it. Laugh poi at a cute poi for being an empty headed dumb fuck poi. But wanna know something about this beautiful wonder, this incredibly cute but brain dead fairy. They fucking poi each other. Who's ready for story time with Meerkat? Meerkat! Meerkat! Okay. Last boy! Nuts boy! Face Minas Jerikawa boy! For the white belt boy! And failed to poi! Losing in a crushing defeat that hurt her boy and made her cry boy! Aww. Poi has since made it a quest Poi to be friends Poi with Sorry Anno again and make her call her by her fairy name, Nuts Poi, and not her real name, Natsumi Maki. But Anno is a serious Poi, refusing to acknowledge the delusion that Nuts Poi is a cute fairy that goes. Bye or do any cosmic angels dance. She much too cool. She's just so cool. Way too cool for cuteness. Oh yes, so cool. These two share deep lore, a long backstory that harkens back to their pre-stardom days with footage that's kind of hard to get. And if you expected a Dark Souls Vati video breakdown on their lore, will I dig deep into the distant past? Discover some lost message board Yoshi Yoda, who contains the vital knowledge I need to complete the tale, to prepare to cry. But I'd rather we last Jedi the past and move on, and by that, I mean make everyone hate it. This meerkat doesn't need it anyways, because anyone from the outside who didn't know any better would watch this match and the little video package and think these two are former lovers getting their anger out in the ring. In reality, they are longtime friends and rivals, and when Kairi brought Soriano into stardom, she formed a trios with Nuts Poi as the third Poi, collectively called Restart. They beat prominence for the artist belt with Anno scoring the victory on Suzu with pottering. But then they immediately lost the belts to Donald Mondo, Body Body Bombers, Julia. Thecla and Lady My Sakurai. She who looks down on them ugly commoners. How dare you even look at the final boss of all wrestling? Don't you look at her, Ano? Oh the time they teamed against the putties of Club Venus, Sori became like a freaking cat and just attacked Poi. Poi quickly under the fence, Poi, and like, what the hell, Poi? Sorry, calm again as Poi, who lost her voice recently, tries to get an explanation, but Ano like, <coughs> um. I can't hear you, Natsumi. Then out of nowhere, Poi attacks Anno with a leather strap and starts beating her with it. Why? Today's video is brought to you by the game of the year, Elden Ring, where things happen, cuz lore. At the press conference, Poi just wanted to be cute with sorry, but Anno just wants to beat her ass because they can't move forward until they do. 
The solution to what is essentially an expedition match? A leather strap match! A very infamous match throughout wrestling. Two opponents tied together to win. You must pin the opponent and then turn the whole freaking genre into a game show and drag your opponent to all four corners, winning by touching all the corner posts. Why are they having a strap match? Lore. It's also symbolic of their relationship. Two wrestlers oh so close who spent so long apart yet still connected to each other until destiny brings them close together. Pro wrestling is art, people. So out is Sorry Ano, who normally comes out to Baby Meadow. Get on in Rossi Ogawa, you need that Tony Khan money. And Nuts Boy with her greatest entrance. It's super cool. This cute fairy out with a fairy crown, posing with the great visuals behind her. The match was good, but the thing about strap matches is that it's just a normal match. But they're tied together. Ano gets the first fall with Pottering, but a flash pin is not enough to win this match. You gotta kill the opponent so they cannot get up and block your game show win. And Poi using the strap Poi to tie up Ano for the flash pin Poi. But again, same reason. They gotta kill each other, and they do. They go, using the strap wisely in spots like such, each refusing to let the other opponent win with their moves. The two reaching each other in an awesome moment. Poi rising into her next phase, Poi. These beautiful, wonderful, brilliant reactions from both. The kicks to the head, the really awesome kicks. I love it. Poi would score the victory, wrapping up Ano in the strap and hitting her fairy strain. And Poi is such a Brilliant little thespian, the struggle being so real, you can feel her desperation to reach the posts, the pull, the tension, but Anno is not quite dead yet. She explodes on Poi, choking her to death, oh my god, she killing her, then wrapping her up like a Zack Sabre pretzel and literally murdering her. But Poi will not die Poi, she a fairy Poi, who don't need air Poi, so Anno wakes her ass up and makes her fight her 100% full on. And now, they're fighting, they're fighting! Suplex City off with so many Brock Poys! Brock Poy, Brock Poy, Brock Poy! Poy, crying for the pain Poy, but fight Poy she goes! Until Anno summons the final skill to lift Poy and kills Poy with her temps tendre, ending with the best bridge in wrestling. With Poi dead, Anno touches each of the posts, but Poi fights Poi, she fights Poi, but Anno grabs her friend and rival's hand and drags her to the final corner. She touches the final post for the victory. Exhausted, they collapse, hands still gripped to each other, no longer rivals. Through their battle, they are now, once again, friends, because again, stardom is an anime, and through their war, these two, with a deep lore extending their entire career, settled their past differences and became stronger for it. And now Anno can smile, say delicious, and even attempt the cosmic angel's dance, and more importantly, recognize her friend's delusion that she's a cute fairy that goes, Hi. and call her by her name, people. This story was simple. For characters as stoic as Anno, all you have to do is give them one tiny change. For Anno, this was it. And that's enough to know that Cosmic Angels, at least for now, will be okay. Tam Nakano, Nuts Boy, Unimon, and sorry, Anno, the new Kozuin. Delicious! Mwah. And special thank you to all my Patreon sponsors. We're gonna go backwards this time. Far 522, Aaron Zacarias, James 198X, Chicken Boggle, Ash McGee, Shut Up Bingo Dot Wave, Juggernaut Graphics, Venji, Minisha Rakawas, Boobas, Punk Wicks Videos, Party Marty 520, Ray Kanashige, Adam K, Kev. Kev Mullen, it's harder. Kev Mullen, Ewa Kaczynski, Danwick, Terrence, John Doe, Neil, Matthew, Justin, Maddox, Asa Trace, Renee. <sighs> Renee Valdez, Tease, Kopi Kasong, Anthony, Geek and Noah's Dad, The Up Channel, and Jeff. Thank you. Oh, that was hard.